Chapter 5 Introduction to Microsoft Excel 2016 Learning Objectives Features of Excel Opening Excel 2016 Basic Worksheet and Workbook Concepts Components of a Worksheet Moving around the Spreadsheet Entering Data Performing Calculations Working with a Worksheet Saving a Workbook Introduction Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet software developed by Microsoft. It is a part of the MS Office Suite. It is one of the most popular and useful spreadsheet software used today. The data in a spreadsheet is represented in the form of a table. Features of Excel The features of Excel are as follows. MS Excel contains formulas which are used for performing Simple and complex mathematical calculations. Functions are the built-in formulas used for calculating percentage, average, interest, etc. If any change is made in a single cell, then the data is automatically recalculated in the entire worksheet. Data can be searched quickly and if required, replaced instantly. MS Excel allows us to create different charts such as bar charts, pie charts, line charts, etc. This helps us to analyze and compare data very easily. Data can be seen in a graphical form such as charts which helps to understand, analyze, compare data in an effective manner. Opening Excel 2016 To open Excel 2016, follow the given steps. Click on Start button. Choose All Apps. Click on Excel 2016. The opening window of Excel 2016 will appear. Choose the blank workbook thumbnail from the screen. A new blank workbook named Book 1 will open on the screen. Basic Worksheet and Workbook Concepts The Excel window that opens on the screen is called a workbook. By default, it has a temporary name as Book 1. Workbook is just like a notebook, which contains a number of pages called worksheets. A worksheet is made up of rows and columns in which you can enter and work with data. Fact file By default, an Excel workbook displays a single worksheet with the name Sheet 1. You can add any number of worksheets in a workbook according to the limits of memory available on computer. A worksheet consists of 10,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. Columns are represented by alphabets on the top and rows by numbers on the left side of the worksheet. Fact file A cell range can be selected by dragging or using shift key or by function key F8. Components of a worksheet Cell. The intersection of a row and a column in a worksheet is called a cell. Each cell is identified by its column letter and row number which is known as cell address. For example, a reference to the cell at the intersection of column A and row 3 is A3. A cell is used to store data such as text, numbers, formulas, functions, etc. A cell can contain up to 32,767 characters. Active cell Whenever you click in a cell, a thick black border appears around it. This highlighted box is called an active cell. Range Range is a group of neighboring cells that touch each other. It can be as small as a single cell or as big as a complete worksheet. You can specify a range by writing the starting cell address followed by the ending cell address, both separated by a colon. For example, B1, B3 indicates to range starting from B1 cell address and ending in B3 cell address. Name box Name box is present above the column heading to the left side of the window. It displays the position of the cell pointer. The formula bar is present to the right of the name box. This bar shows the characters and formulas that you enter in an active cell. Column Headings 
alphabets on the top border of each worksheet are known as column headings these headings identify columns with letters a to z a a a z b a b z x a a x f d every worksheet contains 16384 columns row headings the numbers marked from 1 to 10 lakh 48576 along the left border of the worksheet represent the heading of each row fact file default column width is 8.43 characters it can be changed status bar the status bar displays the current status of the cell and is located at the bottom of the excel window it contains the name of the currently selected command or current activity it also displays warning messages moving around the spreadsheet while entering the data in a worksheet you need to move the cell pointer from one cell to another with the help of various keys defined in the given table right arrow it shifts the cursor one column right left arrow it takes the cursor one column left top arrow it moves the cursor one row up bottom arrow it moves the cursor one row down page up it takes the cursor to the active cell highlight to first row of the spreadsheet and can be used as an alternative to scroll up the worksheet page down it takes the cursor to the active cell highlight to the next sheet and can be used as an alternative to scroll down the worksheet control plus home it moves the cell pointer to the first cell of the topmost row that is a1 control plus end after pressing this key the cell pointer moves to the last used cell on the spreadsheet entering data to enter data in a worksheet follow the given steps select the blank workbook thumbnail from the start screen and open a new workbook click on the cell d1 and type report card now select the cell range where you want to enter the text click on the merge and center button in the alignment group on the home tab the selected cells will be merged and the text will be centered click on the cell a2 and type name press the right arrow key type maths in b2 and science in c2 similarly enter data in the rest of the cells to click on the cell a3 type anaya and press the enter key the cell pointer moves to cell a4 type vaishnavi and press down arrow key to move the cell a5 and type ojas similarly enter the remaining data types of data there are three types of data which can be entered in a microsoft excel worksheet text number formulae text text data includes alphabets spaces and special characters by default text data is left aligned in a cell numbers this type of data contains numerals from 0 to 9 and special characters like plus dash exclamation mark at the rate dollar sign percentage ampersand etc by default numbers are right aligned in a cell formulas formulas are mathematical equations to perform values in our worksheet formulas begin with an equal to sign performing calculations ms excel 2016 allows you to perform calculations on the data like addition subtraction multiplication and division either using formulas or using functions for example to calculate the total marks in h3 type equal to b3 plus c3 plus d3 plus e3 plus f3 plus g3 and press the enter key the sum of the values in the cells b3 to g3 is calculated and displayed in the cell h3 you can use either type upper case or lower case letters to enter cell address auto sum option of excel provides you a quicker and easier way of performing calculations
Click on the Auto Sum button present either on the Formulas tab or the Home tab. Excel suggests a range which we can either accept or select a different range. To make use of Auto Sum option, move the cell pointer to cell H4. Click on the Auto Sum button. Excel suggests the range B4 to G4. Accept the range by pressing the Enter key. The sum of values in cells B4 to G4 is calculated and displayed in the cell H4. Working with a worksheet Switching between worksheets After adding a number of worksheets, you may need to switch between them. For this, use Ctrl plus Page Up and Ctrl plus Page Down key combination. Renaming a worksheet To rename a worksheet, do the following. Double-click the Sheet tab that is to be renamed. It will be highlighted. Now, type a new name and press Enter key or right-click on the Sheet tab you want to rename and click on the Rename option. Adding a new worksheet. To add a new worksheet, follow the given steps. Right-click on the Sheet tab and select the Insert option. The Insert dialog box appears with the Worksheet option selected. Click OK. You will find that a new worksheet gets inserted before the selected worksheet. Or, click on the New Sheet icon present besides to the Sheet tab. A new worksheet will be added or select the Insert, Insert Sheet option in the Cells group in the Home tab. Removing a worksheet to remove a worksheet, follow the given steps. Navigate the mouse pointer on the Worksheet tab that is to be deleted. Right-click on the Sheet tab and select the Delete option. Or, select the Delete, Delete Sheet option in the Sales group on the Home tab. Saving a workbook To save a workbook, follow the steps given below. Click on the File tab and select the Save As option. The Save As window will appear. Click on the Browse option. Browse the drive and folder where you want to save the workbook. Type the desired file name in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. Fact File The Excel file is always saved with an extension .xlx. Quick Backup Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet software developed by Microsoft. The intersection of a row and a column is called a cell. An Excel workbook displays a single worksheet by default with the name Sheet 1. There are three types of data that can be entered in a worksheet. They are numbers, text and formulas. Formulas are mathematical equations involving number values and operators used to perform calculations on a worksheet. You can do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division by using either formula or function.